So I was scrolling through Instagram and I found a picture of a Mugen NSX. I didn't know what a Mugen NSX was. So I was like, that's a cool video idea. And also I want to learn about it. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Mugen NSX. So without further ado, let's kick it off. So we can't start talking about the Mugen NSX without talking about Mugen. So let's give you a quick history of what Mugen is or who Mugen is or in general, just tell you what Mugen is. You can't talk about Mugen without talking about Honda. Honda's history goes all the way back to the mid 1930s. At one point in time, they were making pistons for Toyota and then World War II happened. But afterwards, an interesting note in the history's timeline is that a lot of people believe that there was one founder for Honda, but there was actually two. So we have Sochiro Honda, with Honda being his last name in the name of the company, but also we have Takio Fujisawa, which is credited for contributing a lot of the success that the company sees uh, from his effort. So it's really neat. Another thing too is Sochiro Honda had a son, and his name was Hiratoshi Honda. So Hiratoshi kicked off Mugen. And uh, for you guys who don't know, Mugen means limitless. And so Hiratoshi and his team started to produce aftermarket parts or specialized performance parts for a lot of the Honda and Acura models. And this was great because these were usually bolt-on parts that were made specifically for the models and they had great success. So I could assume that Hiratoshi found out that the Honda NSX was going to be developed and produced and he probably felt that this was going to be a great time to uh, showcase and also a great opportunity to make a really cool prototype. And he went to work, uh, Mugen uh, went to work, the company, and they came out with the Mugen prototype. The Mugen NSX looked very different. In fact, if you weren't familiar with the NSX's original design, it could have left you wondering what it was since the front end was restyled with covered headlights, reshaped intake covers, and two larger cool events. Also, the NSX only retained its stock doors, side mirrors, roof, and trunk. Pretty much else was changed out or modified. Now, the NSX was the first mass-produced aluminum body, so when Hiratoshi went with carbon fiber for the extra parts, I think that was cool and ahead of its time. The Mugen NSX had an aggressive rear bumper. It was vented and brought functionality and design together. It also had an exposed fuel cap, and compared to the standard NSX, it was 69 millimeters wider, 29 millimeters shorter, and 16 millimeters longer. The chassis came with reinforced suspension and gas-filled aluminum dampers. But what really stood out was the Mugen Variable Suspension Control System. Now, it's hard not to point out the word variable, since VTEC has the word variable as well. It's a variable valve timing, lift, electronic control. But this uh, new setup for the suspension, the variable suspension, allowed three different settings which the driver could adjust for the driver's position. The brakes were mostly left alone, minus some upgraded pads, but I would say the most famous and notable upgrade for the suspension was the wheels. Gosh, the wheels are so nice. The Mugen M7 alloy split rim wheels measured 16 by 8.5 in the front versus the OEM 15 by 6.5 and 17 by 9.5 versus the OEM 16 by 8. And the tire choice was Bridgestone Expedia. Now you can't have a prototype without addressing the interior. And the Mugen NSX prototype had some pretty cool stuff. It was fitted with an aluminum roll cage, carbon fiber seats, and a four-point harness. It was also complemented with a Momo steering wheel, custom shift knob, and aluminum drilled pedals. It did not come with AC or stereo. Shockingly, with all these modifications, the Musigan NSX managed to save 90 kilograms of weight and was said to have a top speed of 185 miles per hour. The Mugen NSX used the standard NSX engine, uh, but they upgraded the valve train. They added bigger valves and springs and raised the compression ratio to 10 to 2 to 1 to 10 to 5 to 1. A new custom exhaust was fitted and the ECU was remapped in order to adjust for the new modifications. The result was an additional 50 base horsepower. As far as the drivetrain goes, the Mugen NSX kept the 5-speed gearbox and used a small diameter twin plate clutch with an upgraded limited slip differential. The blue prototype was displayed at the Toyota Motor Show in 1992. 
And from what I could tell, there was not an official uh, Mugen NSX. Uh, unfortunately, it never came to like a production or a way that you could order it um, as a complete car. But I did learn that they did offer a catalog of parts, uh, Mugen NSX parts. And to be honest with you, I did a lot of research and it was fun. I learned a lot. And I realized that a lot of people out there uh, like to collect uh, the different parts. There's some cars out there that are, I wouldn't use the word replicas, but have made almost to the prototype standards, which is really neat. The very last update I found about the Mugen NSX was uh, a post by King Motorsports about a restoration process. They did mention Mugen. The only thing I was confused about is that the car that they had in the picture was red. And of course, the blue prototype is the one that I've seen often. I'm not sure if there was more than one, but uh, it's definitely something interesting. All I know is that I think it's super cool that these, these were options that one could take and enjoy with their NSX if you wanted to buy those parts. Um, but I do want to quickly give a quick shout out. I'm not sure if they're ever going to see this, but I really want them to know I really appreciate it because I did learn a lot and get a lot of content and information from them. So I just kind of want to give them a big shout out. First one is going to be to the website Supercar Nostalgia. Um, they just had a nice write up about it and I you know, I, I thought I'd communicate that the best I could, uh, but the write-up was great. And also, it looks like King Motorsports has an affinity for the Mugen NSX. They have some really cool rare photos from Instagram that I used, uh, and they seem to be really fond of that model. And um, it's probably the most recent uh, information and pictures that I found online. I also attached the Instagram handles to anybody's pictures and sourced anything I could. Uh, most of these photos uh, belong to Mugen or Honda, uh, King Motorsports or the Instagram uh, accounts or, and the guys who have these pictures. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. These videos take a lot of time, a lot of research. and uh, But I love it because I'm learning. The hardest part is just trying to record it right because I always make some issues with like pronouncing things or whatever but again i appreciate it um i really want to start diving more into the history of a lot of these specialty cars i think they're really neat um but again they take a lot of work and some of the biggest issues too is like when you find pictures you want to credit them but you really don't know where the source belongs to so that's kind of hard and you always want to make sure you give everybody credit that they deserve anyways thanks for watching guys i always welcome you to subscribe really appreciate it and i hope you guys are having a good day and thank you again